Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your soulmate reading. We're going to see who your soulmate is in this lifetime, the one that the, the one that you meet for love and romance. The connection that you had in past lives. The connection that you're going to have in this lifetime, what your soul contract is, and how deep in the bond. And yes, for some of you, you have many soulmates in one lifetime. However, they're, they're friend soulmates, they're siblings that could be your soulmate, um, family members that could be your soulmate, co-workers, but this is in love and romance. And we're going to see what soul contract the two of you have shared. All right, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Um, always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. It's not always going to completely resonate. There's too many Scorpios in the world, sun, moon, and rising, and Venus included. So that's why I offer many personal readings, a variety of them over on my Etsy channel and the links down below of every reading. They're very inexpensive. I don't charge a lot to bring clarity and guidance to people because I can almost guarantee that I've been through what you've gone through and I don't, you know, I don't want to charge a lot to help you guys through it. So this is your soulmate connection. Your soulmate, the tower moment. It's going to come into your life when you very well least expect it. It could be when... An ending of something that brings this your soulmate to you it could be like why while your car is breaking down on the road and your tow truck person comes and then takes you over to the garage that it's being delivered along that process it could be somewhere that you meet your soulmate somewhere where there is like a tower moment in your life that you come in contact in this lifetime with them it could be when there was an ending and you're releasing the pain and healing that your soulmate finds their way to you. It could be the healing energy that they bring in. I also feel like it could be an ending that they they have gone through. It could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Divine Feminine definitely could be a Libra. It's You're going to be drawn to them instantly as they are to you. It's the way they hold themselves, the way you hold yourself, the happiness that you reflects off of you, the happiness that reflects off, the, off of them, the shine, the abundance, the happiness that you have within your, your sacred space, within your soul. That's what... You, the two of you are going to be drawn to one another. Abundant in their like career, in their finances, stability for themselves. Overcoming pain and any something drastic happening in their life. They're going to be like a free spirit, very spontaneous, willing to like change plans on the, on like the, on the moment, um, not being afraid to take that leap of faith towards something that they're either scared of or never done before. Very like free spirit. And they're going to take that leap of faith with you towards you. Past life. Equal give and take. So it could have been, you could have been friends that had that equal give and take, that just got each other. It could be that you had, you know, you could have been dating them. Because it looks like he's in a tuxedo, but she's in like just a dress, not a wedding dress. So it could have been like you were each other's go-to person in past lives. Always having each other's back. Always being there for one another in past lives. Yeah, 
You might have had some passion between the two of you. You might have dated in past lives. I'm not getting really anything that says marriage just yet in past lives. But you had that equal give and take and you had that passion for one another. You were drawn to one another. It's like you both found each other sexy. Both found each other, you know, you were drawn to each other's independence and your how you looked. Your appeal. And you weren't intrigued with anything else around you. No other offers. No, there was nothing around you in past lives that was, was very stimulating. It's like you, like I said, you always went to each other for your go-to guy or girl. You go, your go, whatever you resonate with. This current lifetime, you might come together both hurting from other situations. You might actually heal one another from other heartbreak. That might be around the time that you meet. Offering stability towards one another. It might feel like it took a lifetime for your soulmate to find you in this lifetime. But coming in very grounded, very stable. When you meet them, they might have a dog. See what I mean? I feel like the two of you might go through some pain independently, individually. And it's almost like you both have like hurt in this lifetime that is very similar, similar experiences. And it's like a healing energy that brings the two of you together to union in this lifetime to getting married to your soulmate. The happiness, the 1111, and how to deepen that bond is to trust one another, to have that brand new beginning with one another, to always tell each other the truth and be like, a, you know, a clean slate with one another. Don't drag any emotional baggage from past experiences of this lifetime into that. Leave it at the door. You're also being protected by Archangel Michael with the Ace of Swords showing up. But allowing this brand new beginning to happen. Allowing the coming together and deepening the bond that you have for the storybook ending. Even if you, the two of you come together and you have children and they have children, it's a meshing of family. You could be married multiple times in one lifetime and still find your soulmate and marry your soulmate. In your soul contract, you are each other's wish fulfillment to manifest your dreams together. So in your soul contract in each lifetime, in, a in whatever form, it's to find each other in each lifetime, even if it's brief, because you are each other's dream. You may not even be with each other right now. You may not have met your soulmate in this lifetime, but you dream about them. You connect with them on the 5D. You may even feel their energy coming towards you. It's like you're the light at each other's tunnel at the end of each other's tunnel. Your soul contract is to be the light at, at each other's tunnel. There's going to be times where there is a break, a pause, um, a reason to reflect, to gain a different perspective, to put yourself in each other's shoes. You're going to do that for one another, but you're going to be the light at the end of the tunnel. Spirit will always put you back on the right path. 
towards one another. See, even through times where you're like, you know, is she mad at me? Did she forget about me? Did, did he block me? It doesn't matter, you're soulmates. Somehow, some way in each lifetime, you will always find your way back towards one another because your soul contract, you're each other's dream. You will always manifest each other in each lifetime because that's what your soul knows. And it's like, like I said, the guy riding through the crowd, it's like you're going to have eyes for one another. You're going to be smitten by each other's um, looks, shine, abundance, the happiness that you both have within yourselves. You're going to notice this person in a crowd each and every time, in each and every form. And you're always going to want to rush in and romance each other. All right, let's see what else, guys. For my Scorpios. Six of Cups. So, Scorpio, this may be somebody that you've already been in contact with in this lifetime. It could be an ex. It could be somebody you dated that you just felt this intense connection with. It could be somebody that was a childhood friend of yours. And it comes back around. They're coming in very stable very grounded, very career oriented, has their finances in order and has something to offer, has something of stability to grow on with you. Learning through cycles. See the infinity sign? It's like you will always find your way towards one another. Both of you learning from cycles of this lifetime, definitely some pain in this lifetime. But closing out those cycles and still ready to move towards their soulmate, ready to find their soulmate. And there's that tower. I got to ask Spirit, why is the tower card here? Twice in Scorpio soulmate reading. The full. And here's the five of swords. So there might be something that, you know, was in your both your energies at the time you meet that was very negative, very hurtful. It's kind of like you subjected yourself to this energy for far too long with the fool that you probably should have left this connection, this person, this energy a lot sooner than later. And it's like through a tower moment, through an ending there, through the two of you going through similar situations, healing each other, that you find this soulmate connection in this lifetime with one another. It's going to be very unexpected. All right. Queen of coins, king of coins, and queen of coins, Scorpio. So you might have strong earth in your chart, but the two of you are coming together in this lifetime for something solid, something long term. And four of coins. It's the... um. It's like the saving, the whole, the working on your finances, the saving for that stability, for that life to be able to grow on. And it very well for some of you could be a spiritual connection, 
with the high priest is here, but not just spiritual. It's also when this connection comes into play, when your soulmate and you finally come in contact in this lifetime, you're going to know. It's going to be so powerful that you're instantly going to know this connection on both your parts. I'm getting earth and fire. Could be an earth sign. Could be a fire sign. What else can you do to clarify? Spirit, what else can you do to clarify? Scorpio soulmate connection in this lifetime. All right. See? Look at this. It's going to be a win-win. It could be at like an event, um, a football event, a, you know, sporting event. It could be somewhere where there is a trophy given. But it's going to be a victory when the two of you come together. Like I said, in a crowded space, in a crowded room, in a crowded environment, you're always going to find one another. Your, your eyes are always going to find each other. And Scorpio, here you are. So it could be within three to six months. It could be during the fall. At some point, October 22nd to November 21st. If you haven't already come in contact with them. Oh, here's another one. I didn't even realize it's flipped over. But there's the full energy. Your person's going to break free. They're very um, spontaneous. I feel like it's going to happen when you least expect it, Scorpio. There's going to be a lot of chemistry, sexual energy between the two of you. for my Scorpios and with the six of cups coming out with the world card it could be like I said that the time you met at some point in your life and then it comes back around in this lifetime so in this lifetime you may have already met them already been on their path already had conversation already had some type of connection and it comes back around And there's the communication, the making contact. It's divinely guided. It's fated. You are each other's destiny in each and every lifetime. It's out of your hands. You are meant to meet this person in this lifetime, in every lifetime. Like I said, you will always find one another because you're each other's dream come true. Being persistent pays off. So even though both of you have gone through some sadness in this lifetime, I feel it's that which brings you towards one another. That healing energy. And remember with the coffin, it may be during a time of One of you could be a healthcare worker and the other one could be a visitor at the hospital. Um, I feel like there's, it could be around like maybe a family member or somebody is sick around you and like, you know, through a memorial service through something you meet this person it's also a card of five so if you're feeling restless if you're feeling stress and anxiety over when you're going to meet your soulmate or when is it going to be your time it's coming there's so many things that have to transpire in a lifetime but with the three of wands coming out, you are each other's wish fulfillment, each other's dream come true. You will always find each other in some form in every lifetime. And this lifetime, you are getting that chance for 
that marriage, that union, that storybook ending, that brand new beginning that you're going to be able to trust on one, each other and rely on one another. Conquer the world together. All right, Scorpio, let me know how it resonates. I will be back for many more readings. Stay safe.